All right. Okay. Let's see if we get a few folks coming on here tonight before we get going. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nicole. Oh, hi, Gosh, Nicole. we miss you, Nicole. We're looking forward to seeing you this fall at the One Days. Patrick from Adrian, Michigan. How you doing, Patrick? Good to see everybody tonight. Kelly, Martin from Phoenix. I bet it's a little warm out there, isn't it, buddy? And Janine, how you doing, Janine? Nancy, Jim, hey, Dean. Hey, it's great to see everybody tonight. I'm a believer who struggles with drugs, alcohol, and lust. My name's Scott. Hey, Scott. Hi, Veronica. I am Veronica. I'm a grateful believer in Jesus. I am in recovery for anger and resentment. I'm currently working on my control issues. Hi, Veronica. Hey, uh, we have the honor of serving as the North Central Regional Director and spouse, of course. And uh, we serve uh, nine states in the North Central Region, the Dakotas, and Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, and uh, Michigan and Indiana. So uh, shout out to all the, all the folks and all the, all the ministries out there in all those states. Uh, we, we love you guys and, and look forward to seeing you either at the online summit or uh, at the one-day conferences later this fall. So uh, we, we have a, a one-day conference in our region in Lansing, Michigan on October 24th. So we're looking forward to that. But before we get there, we've got a more important event, and that's called the Celebrate Recovery Online Summit. And we're excited to uh, be a part of that this year. Um, it's uh, going to be online, as you know. Uh, you want to check out Celebrate Recovery Summit, crsummits.com. That's summits, plural, to find out a little bit more about uh, the summit. If you go out there, you'll see all the different talks that they're going to be having and all the, the national director headshots are out there, all the, all the people who will be speaking, the special guests and we're just excited to, to be a part of it. And uh, one of the great announcements we've heard recently is that uh, we'll have one week after the summit is shown on July 30th and 31st. We'll have one week to, to view the summit. So that's exciting. I think there'll be a lot of churches, a lot of people that can't make it because of work or whatever priority they have on Thursday and Friday, the 30th and 31st of July. Uh, they'll have up to a, a week to be able to view uh, all the talks that take place, all the entertainment that takes place, the great worship, uh, special guest speakers. So uh, pretty cool that we've got a whole week uh, to, to be able to yeah. view it. And you want to register soon. Uh, we have quite a few people already registered, and it's only 34 days away. Uh, and remember, uh, you know, we're getting excited to be a part of what will be the, the most epic summit ever. We've been doing this live uh, at Saddleback Church uh, or in Nashville, Tennessee uh, for the last bunch of years. And uh, this year's uh, uh, going to be one of the most important events in the 29-year history of Celebrate Recovery as we navigate these unprecedented times that we're living in right now. It's pretty crazy out there. But by pivoting to the first ever online summit, we're bringing inspiration and tools for healing straight to your home or your small group gathering place. Uh, a lot of people will be watching from their homes, which we think is great. But a lot of people will be going to the churches and maybe doing a, uh, a watch party. Uh, check out with your church and see if your church can host a little watch party for you. If not, get some friends together, get some leaders together, and uh, maybe you can do a watch party at somebody's home. Uh, as long as you've got access to the Internet on your TV, uh, go to CRSummits.com. That's where we're going to broadcast uh, the summit from. So we're excited about that. Hey, Sean, good to see you from Springtown, Texas. Um, you know, everyone's welcome to join us uh, on this, uh, you know, as we heal and grow together. Remember, this is an adult only event, so anyone 18 and above is, um, is welcome. And uh, we're excited that we're going to have some great talks about some of our, our student and, uh, and children's ministries as well, Celebration Place and uh, the landing uh, for our students. So we'll have the national directors that will be talking about those two important programs. Uh, we're going to have some talks about Celebrate Recovery Inside. Uh, and uh, we're going to hear from some special speakers this year. So we're excited about that. So check out CRSummits.com and register. Um, check out the full schedule. The schedule is out there, and the schedule is listed in a Pacific Coast time. Uh, so, you know, that's where it's going to be broadcast from. So remember that when you're viewing 
uh, if you're in the central part of the United States or the eastern side of the United States, that it's going to be a different time zone for you. So I'm getting excited. How about you, Rebecca? Oh, I'm getting excited, too. Remember, though, with every five registrations, you get the sixth for free. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm excited to hear from all the guest speakers, especially Pastor Kane Rick Warren on Thursday night. And then the testimonies. I love the summit testimonies. And there, there's going to be a few of them over the two days of yeah. that summit. Yeah, I can't wait to hear from Missouri State Rep Cody Royer and his lovely wife, Tanya, to give their testimony. And they've got a powerful testimony mm -hmm. that we're excited to hear. And yep. Also, the National Landing Director, Andy Petrie's wife, Julia, Julia is going to be yeah. giving her testimony. I can't wait to hear that. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great event, and it will be epic. We can't wait to uh, to join and, and see see what happens those two days. And if you want to watch uh, a, a talk that you might have missed during those two days, you can now you can go back at, uh, through a whole week, and you can go back to all the different talks and, and be able to check those out and, and uh, uh, just let those kind of... Uh, kind of saturate your soul, right? Uh, there's going to be some super, super topics that are shared, uh, and I'm excited to do, to uh, to listen to them. Um, you know, the national team's on here tonight. We've got regional directors and state reps joining us for questions and answers. So as we go through the evening tonight, uh, feel free to post your questions, post your uh, post your uh, uh, concerns, or maybe you have a prayer request. And uh, we've got some great people out here wa wanting to pray for you and and uh, uh, answer your questions for tonight. So let's let's just kind of jump into tonight's topic. We thought we'd do something called uh, celebrating our recovery. You know, why do we call this ministry celebrate recovery? I know for me, uh, in my recovery, there wasn't much to celebrate when I first got into recovery. Um, I've been recovering from drug and alcohol abuse for 26 years now, and the first few years were difficult. Uh, staying sober and beginning to work through all the relationship issues in my life, working all the different hurts and hangups and habits. And it wasn't just about drugs and alcohol. I think, um, you know, deep into my recovery, I noticed that I've got some other issues around, around sexual integrity, uh, eating disorders and, uh, and anxiety, a little bit of codependency. And those are all things that I've been able to work on at Celebrate Recovery. You know, and after a dozen years of uh, recovery in traditional 12-step programs, I was introduced to Celebrate Recovery, and by then I had plenty to celebrate and continue to do so each and every day. You know, it's a great uh, recovery, is a, a beautiful part of our lives, and uh, we get to celebrate that on a daily basis. You know, um, you know we're going to talk a little bit about uh, celebrating and uh, rewarding ourselves uh, through Celebrate Recovery. And it's important that we reward ourselves. It's important to reward yourself and celebrate your accomplishments during your recovery, where uh, whatever area of recovery you're working in, whether it's uh, for milestones in sobriety, from addictions, or, or even behavioral changes. Uh, a lot of people come into the ministry they are struggling with behavioral issues, and uh, they get an opportunity to work on those. Maybe they don't struggle with addiction, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those. Uh, I don't struggle with addiction. I struggle with anger, resentment, and controlling issues. Uh, but the purpose of rewarding yourself is to strengthen your resolve, to keep sub substances or life-controlling behaviors out right. of your life. And rewarding yourself increases your awareness of all that you have been accomplishing along with God's help and what he's been doing in your life. So by all means, celebrate your recovery milestones. Amen, amen. We love to celebrate our recoveries. You know, the Bible references the word celebrate or celebration many times over and over um, in Scripture. And remember, the, most of the Bible is about recovery anyhow, right? I mean, the first part of the Bible is, is, is about how, how, God, how God created us and, and created the world, uh, but the rest of it's all about recovering from uh, the life issues that you struggle with, uh, the sin that we struggle with. You know, I love Psalm 150, uh, verses 1 through 6, which says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with a trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. And praise Him with loud and clashing symbols. You know, what a better way to celebrate God's redeeming grace in our lives through working uh, through the steps and principles of Celebrate Recovery. Uh, you know, the way the ministry is laid out requires us to move through the eight principles and 12 steps with the, the 25 lessons that we teach every other week uh, that lead us through the principles and steps. To me, it's really under the covers, it's the best recovery process, the best discipleship process out there for us. 
Uh, these going through the 25 lessons and the 25 testimonies it typically takes about a year uh, with testimonies on opposite weeks uh, of your lessons. But you know, for me, after moving through that that first time of going through uh, the 12 steps and, and eight principles, we don't graduate. Uh, after working through the process, you know, recovery has to become a lifestyle. Uh, you know, God continues to reveal new things to work on each time we move through the principles and steps, right? It's amazing. Every time uh, I, I, we hit the denial lesson, the first lesson we teach uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, there's always something that God reveals to me that I've been in denial about that I need to work on in my life. And uh, that's what we love about this. It becomes a lifestyle. We continue to move through the steps and principles on a regular basis. Maybe you get involved in step study and go a little bit deeper. But it's important that we do that. And of course, we get to celebrate our milestones of recovery with what we call chips and medallions. Uh, Veronica and I talked about resources a few weeks ago uh, on CRQA, and we talked about chips and medallions. But you know, at our local CR group, we will re reward our newcomers. Uh, and during Newcomer 101 meeting with a blue surrender chip. And that's uh, to represent the one thing they want to surrender at that time they first come in to celebrate recovery. Uh, some people have already been in recovery, though, and maybe there's something new that they want to surrender. So we, we reward them with a blue chip, a surrender chip that they can take home with them. You know, we reward milestones of recovery with different colored chips for, for each month, up to one year. Uh, you know, at one year we start with the brass medallions that are familiar, we're familiar with with traditional 12-step groups. But we do the chips and medallions in our open share small groups each week. So at the end of each group, we always ask if someone's celebrating a, a period or a, a milestone of recovery, and we reward them with a chip or a medallion. And then on the first Tuesday of every month, uh, we reward milestone medallions for multiple years of recovery. For those who want to, and and they let you know, we let the recipients speak for a minute or two about how they're celebrating and maintaining their momentum in their recovery. That's always a blast to, to do that. Everybody looks forward to that first Tuesday of the month, so we can uh, we can cheer and and uh, applaud for those that are working the recovery program and getting medallions. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I love uh, when we celebrate giving out chips and medallions. Um, to me, it's a tangible representation that the participants get to take home with them um, just as a reminder of their accomplishments and they can carry it with them throughout the week. I know a lot of ladies in my group, they get the little chains, they hang it on their keychain, right. they'll hang it on their rearview mirror, you know, guys will stick it in their pocket and carry it with them through the week. So it's just a great way for them to uh, take something home with them to remind them um, of God's goodness in their lives. Yeah, amen, amen. You know, we want to share a few other ideas of ways that you can give yourself a pat on the back for reaching certain milestones in your recovery. You know, it's important that we celebrate the fact that we're in recovery. You know, early on in recovery, it's tough to celebrate. But as we as we work through the issues, as we work through the principles and steps, we start to begin to uh, see those those issues start to decrease in our in our lives, and uh, we start to see more victories. And after many years of recovery, yeah, we still struggle with things uh, day in and day out, but we have more victories than we have uh, struggles, and we get to share about those victories with others uh, in our groups. But, um, you know, we want to share a few other ideas of ways you can give yourself a pat on the back for reaching certain milestones in your recovery. You know, I think about, you know, beginning a success savings account. You know, put a dollar away for every day you've stayed sober or put two dollars away for every CR recovery meeting that you've attended. Uh, start a little savings account and monetarily you can uh, start to build a little bit of a stash and you decide the amount of money you want to give yourself for the desired action. And at the end of the year, you can take that money and use it towards a mini vacation or maybe buy a new piece of furniture for your home or maybe a, a stereo or something that you, uh, or maybe a new car or something like that. But uh, it's amazing how fast a little bit of savings adds up when uh, you're putting it just a, a buck or two away each day or each each time you uh, are rewarded a medallion. Uh, put some cash away and, and uh, use it for something, something special for yourself. What about well, you? You got to think of anything? Well, we all know that ladies love jewelry. jewelry. <laughs> so maybe there's a special piece of jewelry that you've had your eye on for a while. Maybe a bracelet, yeah. maybe a necklace, a pair of earrings. Um, and every time you wear the new item, you're going to be reminded about how far you've come in your um, recovery walk. Yeah, I like jewelry too. We like to, we all, we both like to wear jewelry. It's just a nice way to uh, you know go out and spend a little money on yourself and remember how hard you've worked your recovery program. And it's, you know, it's not a pride issue. It's just something to reward yourself with. Uh, maybe you begin a collection. Um, could be stamps, 
or uh, thimbles or spoons or dolls and action figures. People collect different things, sports memorabilia. We got a lot of people that uh, collect sports memorabilia. I like to collect bonsai plants. Um, I'm, a, I'm a plant enthusiast. I love getting out in the yard, working in the yard. I love playing with my bonsai plants. Uh, you know, each time you achieve a, a sobriety milestone, whether it's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six months, nine months, one year, etc. Go ahead and buy another item for your collection. It's great to collect things like that. And some people collect baseball cards, uh, those kind of things. That's uh, uh, start a little collection though to uh, celebrate recovery. Or how about rewarding yourself with eating at a, a good restaurant with your your favorite food? Mm. Yeah, amen. <laughs> you know, Veronica and I are going to celebrate 20 years of of marriage here in a couple of weeks, and we love to go back to the same restaurant where we had our first date, a uh, little place uh, a little bit of ways away from us that we love to go. They got great seafood and it just uh, helps us to remember uh, that important time, that first date that we had. And it's just a special time for us that we do that every year. Uh, they actually put your anniversary date right there on the menu and and uh, they get to celebrate with you. But, uh, you know, reward yourself with eating out at a good restaurant uh, with your favorite food. Uh, and if it's Mexican food, watch your breath, right? I mean, we, we, we ate some Mexican food tonight and it's been uh, we've been burping it up a little bit all, all night. Uh, yeah. Thanks, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. How about um, getting a massage? I love massages. Yeah, I think do. they're relaxing. It energizes me from the inside out. A little pampering goes a long way. Amen. My favorite massages just moved to Arizona, so now I'm on the hunt for a new one. But that's one way I like to treat myself. Um, another way is maybe get your hair styled, dyed, or cut. I have a friend who likes to put little colored spots in her hair, like in the back of her hair, just a, a little streak down the side, just to try something different and have fun. Um, maybe get a makeover with a professional. Um, I know that uh, we all like to get on... We all know that when we feel look good on the outside, that we feel good on the inside. Not yeah, that that yeah. is the most important thing, because it's not. But just to pamper yourself, to treat yourself, to celebrate what uh, God has done in your life. And um, so just pamper yourself. Maybe it's a manicure and a pedicure. Um, I love manicures and pedicures. Yeah, you do. <laughs> he knows. Um, but, you know, if you need to watch what you spend, and we're certainly not advocating that people spend a ton of money here, you know, do it yourself at home. If you, if you know a friend who can do it for you, um, who'd love to do it for you for free, maybe you just tip them well. But just, yeah, that's great. you know, we're just trying to give you ideas of way to, ways to celebrate your recoveries yeah. and, and treat yourself yeah, to something nice. And we really just, we want to enjoy our lives, right? We've worked hard in our recovery, and there's lots of ways to enjoy our our uh, rewards of, of recovery. You know, another way to reward yourself if you're single or even married, have a night out at the movies with a friend you haven't seen for a while, or maybe your spouse. Veronica and I love going to the movies and getting a big barrel of popcorn and, and kicking back. And uh, typically we'll go to see a love story or maybe an action movie. It depends on uh, who gets to choose, I guess, right? <laughs> You know, who doesn't enjoy a good night out at the movie theater, especially with someone you need to catch up with um, or just spend some time with someone special in your life? You know, splurge on that great popcorn and drinks at the movie and just have some have some fun. Uh, one other thing that we love to do is taking a leisurely walk on our uh, local trail or at the park. You know, just breathing in, uh, taking in the fresh air. When we go out for a walk, we walk for two or three miles uh, several times a week. Uh, we have a great trail here in our community that we can walk on and you know, we just, uh, you can hear the birds singing in the morning and kind of get in tune with the simpler things of life. We spend some time in prayer together as we walk and it's just a special time for us in the mornings to get a little exercise and, and just celebrate what, you know, God's brought to us and uh, God's creation, you know, walking through uh, our community here. Uh, we love to attend uh, different different events too, like art shows, um, you know, galleries or, or even go to our local zoo. You know, you can check your local newspaper and see what news or websites are out there for different exhibitions around uh, your area? Uh, you know, we love to we love to do the uh, Shakespeare Theater here in town, put on by Illinois State University, and uh, we love going. It's right down the street from where we live. We can walk down there and, and uh, catch up on a little Shakespeare. So it's just something fun to do to celebrate life. You, maybe you just want to be a kid again. You know, go to your local amusement park and recapture the awe that you felt as a child. You know, like riding a roller coaster. We love. Uh, we've been to Cedar Point, uh, uh, Sandusky, uh, Ohio, a couple times, and love riding the big roller coasters. Well, at least I do. And Veronica struggles a little bit with it. Uh, if you ever go up there, you've got to ride a ride called uh, uh, Top Thrill Dragster. 
and uh, that's at Cedar Point uh, Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio. It's a great time, but it's a great place to just be a kid again. And we get to be kids again when we take our grandkids out. You know, we go have fun, uh, maybe at Disney or somewhere, uh, uh, you know, local amusement park. Uh, we love love watching the kids be uh, have so much fun and relax, and it just makes us feel like kids again. So, you know, it's just another great way to, to celebrate what God's doing in our lives. Well, if you're not into roller coasters, <laughs> uh, maybe you can buy yourself a new outfit. Yeah, there you I'm go. speaking on all the ladies' topics tonight. But, you know, if you're low on funds, go thrift store shopping. There are great deals you can find for next to nothing at your local Goodwill or your local thrift shop. Um, so that's one way to reward yourself um, for reaching a Celebrate Recovery milestone. Um, maybe redecorating a room in your house. Let your creativity flow. Let the room capture the real you. Maybe uh, you need a new uh, paint color. You know, don't be afraid to go a little wild. You know, <laughs> if you don't have money to redecorate, you can just rearrange the space. Yeah. And, you know, I know that Scott and I have been talking about things to go out to do and see. We know there are people in Celebrate Recovery that may be struggling in a financial area. Maybe they have a spending addiction or whatever. If that's you, you know, we're certainly not advocating you just relapse and uh, go splurge on a bunch of things but maybe you connect with your sponsor your accountability partner and talk about ways that you can celebrate your own recovery without having to spend money we're just giving some ideas for you guys to think about and do yeah i think about redecorating i think about times when we we want to paint a room and we're getting ready to paint the room and before you know it we're thinking about changing the carpet out rearranging the furniture and buying, but it, new, furniture. buying new furniture yeah but it can get pretty expensive so certainly not advocating spend a bunch of money but to uh, just have some fun change things up a little bit it's always interesting when you redecorate a room and change the furniture around it just reminds you that you know we're still alive we're still we're still changing we're still growing you know and god's still uh, blessing us and and uh, giving us room to, to recovery. You know, maybe it's about going seeing your favorite sports team playing live. Uh, we love going to see the St. Louis Cardinals. I know there's probably some Cubby fans out there. and uh, We'll uh, pray for you. We'll pray for you. But uh, the Cardinals are and we're getting ready to fire up Major League Baseball again. We love going to see baseball games. And uh, when it comes to football, we uh, unfortunately live in a house divided. Uh, I'm a Chicago Bears fan, and uh, Veronica is a... Packer fan. Packer fan. Go Pack Go. Yeah. If the Bakers are watching tonight, she, you know, it's funny. When we get together, you know, at events, uh, we come to see Johnny and Jenny and Pastor John, and uh, it, they walk right by me. They go right to Veronica to talk and uh, talk about the Packers and see how they're going to do tonight. So I guess that's the way it uh, rolls. But, you know, see your favorite sports team. Spend some money and get some tickets and go see a great team and just celebrate some of that, some of the great entertainment that's going on out there. And, you know, and do something daring. Maybe you uh, something you've always wanted to try. You know, go bungee jumping or hang gliding, parachuting, whitewater rafting. I mean, there are a lot of things you can do. I'd love to take a whitewater raft ride down the uh, the Colorado River and the Grand Canyon. We've been to the canyon a few times, and we love it out there. But these are all great ways to celebrate your recovery victories. Well, if those things are way too over the top for you, how about a nice, long, relaxing bubble bath? Who doesn't like a bubble bath? Light some candles around the tub, make it serene, make it memorable. Maybe you read a book or just relax, tune yeah. out the family, and just enjoy life. Yeah, I'm not much into bubble baths, but Veronica, she loves them, and she'll just get up and say, I'm going to go take a bath. I'm like, go for it, girl. That's awesome. For me, I kind of like the, you know, a new book. Uh, you know, in retirement here, um, you know, I can find more time to uh, look at CR resources. Maybe one of the wonderful books that we have is a CR resource like uh, Johnny's uh, Road to Freedom book or Life's Healing Choices or maybe the CR devotional. You know, schedule some uninterrupted time to read a book. You know, read a good resource. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, is Jeff Stoltz's uh, Hope Dealer book. And uh, if you're looking to see Jeff, he's going to be on tomorrow night on CRQA. He's getting pumped up already. So you want to tune in tomorrow night at 8 o'clock uh, Central to to see Jeff, but uh, he's got a great book called Hope Dealer, and uh, Veronica kind of likes her favorite book too. Is Never Let Go by yeah. Mac and Mary Owen. Yeah, great book, great book. You know, uh, one other thing you could do to celebrate your recovery is to sign up for a team sport. You know, maybe you like to play softball. Maybe you get involved in your local church and uh, uh, get involved in a softball team, or maybe a volleyball league. 
uh, playing basketball or what have you. you know, there's lots of ways to meet new friends and you know maybe through your local church is a great way to share your victories from working the program with others. Get them exposed to Celebrate Recovery so they can see the, the, uh, the exciting life that you're leading uh, in recovery. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you live near water like a lake or an ocean, you rent a boat or a jet ski. Yeah, Spend the cool. day soaking up some sunshine, riding the waves with family and friends. Yeah, that's cool. You know, another great way to celebrate recovery is to go to a concert or theatrical event. Um, I love music. Veronica loves music. We love going to concerts. Uh, you know, do this especially. It's something you wanted to see if it falls around a certain recovery milestone. So if you're getting close to five years of recovery or a year of recovery, you know, find a find an event you can go and, and uh, have some fun with it. Or maybe you try like an architectural tour. We love going up to Chicago and uh, taking the uh, architectural boat tour where the boats run down through the Chicago River and the, the uh, MC tells you all about the different architecture, all the different buildings when they were built uh, in Chicago. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you get a new appreciation for your hometown or maybe the big city that's, that's near you. Um, uh, one other thing that I've done yeah, you for have. Scott is I have held a surprise sobriety party for him. Uh, when he reached 10 years of sobriety from alcohol and drugs, I threw a surprise uh, party that for cool. um, his friends in recovery. You know, it's, sometimes you got to be careful with who you invite to these things. Um, but I had surprised him. You know, we celebrated uh, him reaching 10, 10 years of sobriety, and Amen. it was a lot of fun. It was meaningful. You know, celebrating our milestones with others in recovery and our friends keeps us humble. As we remember that, you know, we did not get there alone. We had a whole lot of people cheering for us, encouraging us to keep going and not to quit. And it gives us an opportunity to tell our sponsors and accountability par partners, uh, mentors, friends, and even pastors, thank you. When we celebrate our milestones, um, it gives us a chance to look back to see where we came from, how far we've come, and how much God has done for us. Yeah, that was awesome. That was a great party. We really enjoyed that. That was a lot of years ago. I'm ready for another one. You surprised me, huh? Hey, uh, you know, what? I think really what we want to say here tonight is that it's important that you announce your, accomplish your accomplishments and your sobriety milestones to others. You know, allow yourself to hear and soak up in the congratulations, right? It's a big deal that you're in recovery and God's moving in your life and he's changed you and you deserve the praise of others. You know, it's not about uh, just being prideful, but just celebrating the fact that uh, God has moved mightily in your life in recovery and you have an opportunity to share that with others. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about sharing your Celebrate Recovery testimony and the importance of, of uh, sharing your story with someone else that may need to hear that. Um, if you've got a Celebrate Recovery testimony, give it. You know, go to another CR group. And give it at your local group or go to another CR group. But others need to hear your stories of God's redemption in your life and, and how you're, what you're doing, how you're maintaining your momentum in your recovery. You know, remember, our, one of our favorite phrases is God doesn't waste a hurt, right? He loves you and he wants, to share, he wants you to share your recovery story and what he's doing in your life. How about celebrating the freedom that comes with recovery? Yeah. Galatians 5.13 says, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters. But don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Yeah. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. So speaking of serving, it's another great way to celebrate your recovery Amen. by giving back to others. Yeah, um, our South Central Regional Director, Ken, and his wife, Tammy, shared a couple weeks ago about the importance of serving others by sponsoring, leading a step study, greeting, giving chips out. There's a lot of ways that you can celebrate your recovery by giving back to others and serving. Yeah, I personally have been getting involved in our local community here. Uh, joined a, a, a group uh, through Chestnut Health Systems. It's a recovery center here in town. Uh, but they formed something called a Recovery Oriented Systems of Care, ROSC, Recovery Oriented Systems of Care, where multiple recovery groups are coming together uh, to talk about uh, putting a, put together a list of resources from, from our community for people who are in recovery. It uh, doesn't matter if it's Celebrate Recovery or 12-Step Recovery or any kind of other recovery group. Uh, but it's given me an opportunity to share a little bit about the ministry and uh, the importance of uh, faith-based recovery. Uh, just another great way to celebrate um, my recovery and celebrate the recovery of others. Uh, uh, and, and we love we love doing those things, getting involved in our community. Another great way to celebrate recovery is to get to a one-day conference, right? I know Nicole's on here. Nicole Blistein is uh, one of our leaders that uh, uh, runs our Celebrate Recovery one-day conferences. We've got a bunch of them coming up this fall. Uh, but more importantly, 
get involved the summit. What a great way to celebrate your recovery is to get involved the summit. You know, we want to wrap up tonight by just sharing a little bit more about the summit on July 30th and 31st. You can get involved, uh, register as soon as you can. Uh, we, uh, uh, we want to see as many people register as they possibly can because it's going to be an epic event this mm -hmm. year, right? And uh, we can't wait to attend. But what a great way to uh, celebrate what's going on in your life uh, uh, through recovery is to get involved in a great training event. Uh, get your team together and take them uh, take them along. Or maybe somebody new to recovery that wants to attend the summit for the first time and learn a little bit more about, about the ministry. So um, that's about really all we had to share tonight. Uh, we appreciate everybody online listening tonight. Uh, we hope to see everyone online tomorrow night for CRQA. As I said, our good buddy, National Director of, of Broken Chains, Jeff Stoltz, will be, will be sharing a little bit from his heart. Uh, you don't want to miss that. And uh, we, just, uh, we just appreciate the opportunity to share with you tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, we're Scott and Veronica Kemp, a North Central Regional Director, and uh, we love, love our region, love our state reps, and uh, shout out to all of them tonight. So, hey, thanks to everyone for, for listening to us tonight. And we just wish you have a great night and a great weekend ahead. So love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.